Let's recall some properties of the category of commutative rings. As we said before, the category of commutative rings can be thought of as arising as the models in set of an algebraic theory. And all such categories are known as algebraic categories, and all algebraic categories come equipped with a free forgetful adjoint situation. And this forgetful functor u actually will create all limits and will also create filtered colimits. So since the forgetful functor creates limits, we can give now all the limit objects uh, in the category. First, the terminal object will need to be the ring with one element, and that will be the zero ring. Sometimes this will be written as zero, but we will write it as one since most categories will write the terminal object as a number one. The second is products, and that has to be given by the, the underlying Cartesian product of, of sets. And we have pointwise operations. Third, for equalizers, we have the normal set theoretic equalizer. And this makes E into a subring of A. For pullbacks, given two ring morphisms, F and G here, we can take the pullback of the underlying sets, which will give us a subring of the product a and a prime. The colimits in commutative rings are a little bit more interesting. We have the initial object as being the integers. In a lot of categories they'll write it as zero, but that makes it a little bit confusing since we sometimes will write the zero ring as a zero, so we'll just write it as the usual bold-faced z. For the coproduct we have the tensor product, so for the binary coproduct we can take uh, the binary coproduct of two rings a and b as the tensor product, and since we have filtered colimits also being created by the forgetful functor, we can now construct all coproducts as well. It can be given as a filtered colimit of all the finite tensor products um, that exist within the diagram. For a coequalizer of two ring morphisms, f and g, we can take the ideal formed by the difference and form the ring quotient. And finally, for pushouts, given two ring morphisms, f and g, we can think of these as giving b and b prime commutative algebra structure, and so we can take their tensor product over a, and that gives us the pushout of b and b prime.